Okay, somebody posted a question on the forum, and I thought I'd do a real quick video here. I got a few minutes, and uh, I didn't think this would take very long to do. The question was editing text after you type it in here. Um, that was the first question. If you, I'm going to call it click off the text, or actually what it is is if you accidentally change tools, how do you get back here and do your um, do your editing to your text? And it's actually really simply simple, but I've had the same problem before when I first started using the software. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click um, on our text tool and I'll, I will click down here so that uh, we can do the same exact thing. And um, because this is a file that they had posted and it has already been um, converted into objects instead of text. So we're just going to duplicate exactly what they had. And I apologize I don't remember who had posted this. So I'm just going to say whoever. So that's text now. This up here is not text. We're going to click off of that, which actually I'm just changing tools. I have my select tool. And as you can see, it's not text up here. It's individual objects. Now the question is, now that I got back here, whoops, I wanted to kern these letters so that it really looks like something because here it looks horrible. And I could break this up, break the text up, and move all the objects together, but you don't really have to do that. All we do need to do is get back here and select our text tool again and boom you can see we get all of our tools back uh, that we can edit our text with. So we'll just we'll just slide all this and um, I'm gonna zoom in here so you can see I have did a video on this before where how I line up script text but you can see that one's kind of a no-brainer they do just get them to match up. This one here I have that O actually overlap a little bit of that R. I think that looks best. And we're going to do the same thing there. And uh, we'll bring this one over. And it's not going to line up. That's part two of the video here. And this one we'll bring over to there. Now that's about as much as we can do with our text tools that come with the Floriani software. Every other tool here is not going to get us these parts connecting. Unfortunately, I'll just be honest. I think this is a terrible script. I don't show it to the customers because it takes too much work to edit it and make it look good and it's got other imperfections the R and the N have stitches that start in the wrong place so that it can't connect to the previous letter um, it adds extra trims I guess the Y and the L here not only do we have that gap the problem is is we have a stitch that goes down here that'll either add a trim where we really don't need a trim or if we don't have a trim it's going to add a stitch that we have to trim out manually. So that's as much as we can do with our text tool. And the point here is if we get onto our select tool or any other tool that we get, how do we get back to our editing and just click on that text tool again and we can size our text. We could go over here and monkey around with anything we wanted to do over here and um, just like we had just set it. Now if we've put 10 other lines in, we can go back to this one and edit it. Now, to get these things here to connect, what I want to show you there, now we do have to break up the text. And before we do that, we'd want to make sure we get all our, our densities and everything the way we want. And since this is just an example, I'm not going to play with that. But you'd want to probably pretty get this pretty much like you want it, because right now we're working with one object, and as soon as I right-click, yeah, I can't have that tool. i got to have the Select tool. And then I right-click, and I say Break Up Text, now, unfortunately, this breaks it into a lot of pieces, but the good part is we can now edit these pieces before we could not fill in that gap. So I'm going to zoom in one more time here. And anytime anybody has trouble seeing, make sure you click on the high definition. The higher definition uh, video quality will get you, if you go all the way to the highest definition, you'll see exactly like it does on my screen. Uh, because I record these in um, 1080 resolution. So what we're going to do here is we're going to make this L meet up with the Y. And now that we've um, broken this text up into what I call objects, we can edit these objects. So I'm going, to, I'm going to select the L because I want the L to meet up there. I could select the Y and bring this one down, but it, it seems more logical that we get this up here. So I'm going to select the L. We'll go over here and get our shape tool click on that. Now here, I'll zoom in a little bit more there, we're going to right click on this so we can get some of these um, handles out of the way that we really don't want and we're just going to click on outlines here because we only want to edit the outlines at this point. 
Now I'm just going to move the old outline. That one's going to go right up there. This one's going to go right up here. As you can see, this is it's a little awkward looking because this was thicker than this. So I'm going to bring this over a little bit and maybe just kind of mess with these curves a little bit just so that this kind of flows into that a little better. So basically all I've done is just move a couple handles. And when I think I've got it what I want, you can just right click and it'll redraw the stitches for us. And as you can see, the red um, little handle is there. That tells us where this object's going to end. That's where the last stitch is, which is perfect because that's where the Y starts. So that's how easy it is to fix that. And I say easy, but it would have been easier if they'd have fixed this when the font was made. So since they didn't, we got to do it manually. So that's the other reason I don't use this font, especially for names, because it would waste too much time. We're going to do the same thing here. We're going to bring this Y up to connect to the end. This is a very small gap. I probably wouldn't fix this unless this was being sewn very big uh, at a small size of if this was half inch, maybe even uh, six tenths of an inch, maybe even all the way up to three quarters of an inch is probably this gap wouldn't show. But I'm going to fix it anyway, and this time I'm going to do it a little different because I do this sometimes. If you only got a couple handles in the way, you can always just move them out of your way. So we're going to move that angle line and the um, I'm not sure what that's called, but that's the stop point of the of the uh, segment. So we're going to move those out of the way so we can get to our outline points and just match those up like that. Right click and we have the stitches filled in. Now the only thing you'd want to do is move our ending point back up here to the end so we don't have any extra stitches. Now as you can see this has an extra stitch down here and we could rework that. Um, that would be definitely take a little extra work because what what happens here is this this stitch ends here but it starts here and it really should kind of be the other way around and it should go back um, it should stitch over here and do these these parts or can just continue up here but uh, we're not going to go in there and mess with that right now but as you can see that's how you can connect these letters um, kind of a pain but if you want to use the font that's pretty much what you have to um, put up with and as you can see it's really not that hard once you get on to it and um, it makes the font usable unless you've got hundreds of names to do then uh, I'd talk them into using another script so hopefully everybody learned something on that quick video and we'll see you in the next video